Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing great. Today I'm going to be showing you how I curl my hair using a curling wand. And normally I am all about using a straightener, flat iron to curl my short hair. I find it that it's easier and I can control it a little bit better and I don't burn the back of my neck as much as I do with a curling wand. But I have been using the curling wand more and more and I am loving it, loving the technique. So today I'm going to share with you my technique that I've been using. I'm not going to lie, after filming it I realized that my explanations are kind of confusing it's one of those things where it's like so natural to me the way that I do it but I have a feeling that if you just watch it a couple times try it out yourself and uh, I think you'll get the hang of it so I just got my ginger refreshed my hairstylist it's Chris Weber he is also one of my closest friends <laughs> um, but I've been just seeing him for years we uh, he's just he's the best he's so talented um, but yes, I got this done. I love like the contrast like the dark pieces and the lighter ginger pieces It's just like, you know gives the hair a bit more dimension Anyways, if you want to see how I wave my hair and create this hairstyle keep watching The wand that I use is by T3 Micro and this is the one where it has like the interchangeable wands. It came with three sizes and this is the medium one. And so I just turn it on by holding it down and then it starts flashing. I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of sunny. But I have it on just the third setting. So like there's one, two, three, four, five little dots here. Each dot is a heat temperature and I usually stay around the middle range. I'm gonna put that down and then I start sectioning off my hair. My hair is pretty short and curling down here with a curling iron is much more difficult, but I don't worry about it too much because no one can really see that. Okay, because no one can see this, all I wanna do is kinda create a little kink in there, a little wave, and that's about it. I'm not gonna stress about it too much. As you can see, it's just slightly waved, nothing too crazy. But the next section is where I'll really show you how I curl my hair. I start by taking my curling wand upright. This is the top, this is the bottom. I clamp my hair just like this. So some people kind of like go down like this or whatever. No, we're gonna start like this. Taking it from the top, I clamp it, I turn it, wrap it around, and then take it out of the curl on the other side and then slide down so the ends are straight. I clamp it. I turn it. Wrap it around. And then take it out of the curl on the other side and then slide down. So the ends are straight. Taking this upright, I'm gonna clamp it, pull it down, twist it back up and then take it out of the curling iron, but this end is still attached. I'm gonna slide that down so then that straightens. So you kind of have this little kink in the hair strand, but then the ends are straightened and I alternate directions so it's all, you know, looks a little bit more effortless. Last little section here, I'm going to wave away from the face. So once again, clamping, pulling it, wrapping it around, taking it out, and then sliding it down. Alternating directions. Gonna clamp it, roll it up, take it out, and then slide it down. Now all my hair is curled, I'm gonna just brush through it with my hands. 
So a product that's been a super favorite of mine for a long time, it's this Whey Matte Pomade and it's thick. And I feel like it just separates and texturizes your curls, your waves. Um, and so especially if your hair is drier and you kind of have like that poof going on or the frizz, this will help contain that. So I just put a little bit on my hands, get it all nice and warm, and then just brush through the ends. And then grab some hairspray. If you see that this is more of like, just like a very natural, random kink kind of hairstyle. If you do want it a little bit more curly, I recommend holding it in place in that heat for a couple seconds longer and then taking it out and then sliding down, if that makes sense. <laughs> you might be a little bit more confused. So thank you guys for watching, that was it. I hope it wasn't too confusing. You know, watch it a couple times. Let me know if it works for you. I don't know, let me know if I just confused you more. I hope not, but hey, I'm not the best, I'm trying. So uh, I will talk to you guys later. Hope you like this video. Have a great rest of your day. Mwah.